Marketing activity, aka thoroughput, is extremely dependent upon space. And one of the issues that you have, for example, say that you're picking and you're trying to pull as many items as quickly as possible for a particular sales order that you're going to go ahead and encounter is being able to literally fit as many people as possible into a certain segment of space. To get around that, what we oftentimes have to do is we have to utilize waving because what waving does, essentially the concept of waving, is that what we do is we schedule people based upon the warehouse availability, AKA space, to be able to pick at predetermined times. So we prevent from having bottlenecks such as a line or something like that that's been backed up and allow people to be able to work. Here's how you go ahead and do it. First, you're gonna separate the stock that you're picking from the floor into batches. For example, if you work for a food supplier, you may have groups of frozen pantry and perishables. That can be compiled into a list for employees to work off. Next, workers will need to schedule when they will be attending certain aisles to collect these items. This is because if all the employees go to the same category of item, this will cause congestion on the floor and slow down the picking process. This can be marked through a timetable on some sort of list or some sort of scheduling sort of mechanism. Basically delineating which workers pick and which workers access which area at which time. Third, workers will then go to their respective zones and begin picking from the stock on the floor. Then, once the entire floor has committed their respective list of items or waves, the process begins again. There's some interesting pros and cons to being able to do picking. This sort of way, wave picking. First of all, the upside is that everyone has a set path on the floor, so you don't have to worry about having the congestion and the bottlenecks that you'll oftentimes see. If you think of long lines, you very much get a good idea of the warehouse. The longer the line of people that are waiting to access a certain defined amount of space, the more wasted productivity that you have. But if you're able to schedule people at predetermined times, you can oftentimes eliminate waiting, AKA appointments, things like that. Waving is that sort of way also. With congestion non-existent, what happens is you now increase the efficiency because now you can schedule your work much more efficiently, your man hours and other things for people to be able to get work going. If there was a particular disadvantage to this sort of process, it does require rigorous planning. It's not appropriate in all warehouses, especially if you can't predefine your picking orders at certain times. Because remember, the mechanism depends upon time. So if you have to meet customer orders very, very quickly or at random times, you could end up in a situation where customer orders could be delayed without having a stable customer order flow. So please keep that in mind also whenever it comes to waving. That's it for waving everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this particular discussion. Remember that planning is very, very clear. And overall, I have to say that waving is an excellent method for both high pick and low pick situations where you're gonna have high results and sometimes low amounts of picking activity too. Hopefully this will give you all the tools and understanding you need to implement this into your business and raise productivity sky high. Be sure to check out our blog post on this topic where we actually tie it into an ERP system and please check our site for more helpful tutorials and thank you for watching very much. Um, please visit instructorbrandon.com. Have a good day.